Hello guys, uh, so hope you are doing well. Uh, so today we will be fine tuning Flex One Dev uh, on our own data set. So uh, basically, I did this fine tuning a few months ago, but uh, I am now uh, making a video on it, so it will be helpful for someone. So uh, for this fine tuning, we will be using AI toolkit. It's a it's a repository. You see, uh, it's a very nice repository. Uh, it it makes us very easy to uh, fine tune uh, this flux model on our own data set so basically uh, i will be uh, going to each uh, each step so it will be uh, i'll be gu guiding you so it will be helpful for you actually okay so let's move to the uh, readme file so here you see uh, first of all we have to uh, configure it but basically uh, first of all i will let you know that uh, for this fine tuning uh, you will need at least 32 gb of uh, graphic card nvidia graphic card uh, it should be minimum 32 gb because while fine tuning uh, it's uh, use up to 28 gb of uh, a graphic card so memory so you, you should have at least 32 gb of uh, dedicated graphic card in your system okay so uh, as for as per the requirements in this uh, repository uh, you will have at least uh, the python uh, version 3.1 uh, or higher also nvidia gpu as i told you uh, and the uh, python env for uh, we will be creating a virtual environment and get for cloning this repository so first of all uh, you, you have to just copy this uh, url and let me open uh, let me open uh, come on prompt okay just to demonstrate how it will work so first of all you have to just uh, copy this uh, command and then you have to clone it in a particular directory where you want to uh, clone it okay uh, after this you have to uh, then navigate to the that particular directory and then you have to uh, get this sub modules uh, which, which is which will be needed for this uh, uh, fine tuning and then you have to create a virtual environment the name for this virtual environment is uh, vnv and then you have to uh, with this command you will be able to uh, activate that virtual environment so basically after doing this step you have to uh, install this torch okay so this is a dependency you have to install it and then you have to install the requirement.txt file it is uh, basically inside here you if you see it's a file so you, you can install uh, install all the dependencies inside this uh, this requirement.txt file via this command so it is for linux and for window uh, just it's a different here by activating this command and then this thing so after uh, after this step you have to then uh, will be able to uh, fine tune this uh, fine tune uh, this flux on your own data so let's move to the that part uh, so uh, here i uh, clone that repository and then i install the dependencies so first of all for this fine tuning you have to uh, move to this config file in config file you have to open these examples and then uh, here you will see these uh, some some yaml files in this you you will you will be you will open this one okay the strain lora flex 24 gb so basically they are uh, they claim that it will be this fine tuning will be done in 24 gb but uh, but uh, when i tried it on 24 gb so it's uh, give me a memory error so you have to at least uh, have 32 gb of your uh, graphic card memory so after this after opening this file so here i open this file uh, here here that you have to configure some uh, few things like the you have to give this fine tuning your name like i gave it my name because we will uh, you will be fine tuning uh, this uh, 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 our own data so basically i am using um, my own data set so let's first talk about the data set okay so uh, you have to uh, you have to create your own data set uh, it, it will be of any any of your uh, use case so in my case i i i, I take my own pictures it's uh, almost uh, 35 pictures uh, it's just a few pictures of 35 pictures and you have to uh, 
you have to caption it like uh, for this for example for this particular image yeah, this is the image so for this particular image you have to uh, make a caption as well like this is a caption okay so and then uh, one more thing uh, the you will rename caption and the uh, image with the same uh, same name like one one and there is a two two is a three three so you have to make a uh, data set like this and then you have to uh, okay so here you see I, I uh, here down now let's back to the YAML file so here you see the uh, name for this fine tuning and then uh, the training of folder will be the output so uh, the training words and other samples uh, will be stored in this uh, output folder and we will be using CUDA uh, 0 so uh, and basically it, is, it will be trained on just one GPU uh, there is no option to use uh, multi GPU in here and then uh, the type is LoRa we will be training a LoRa and then uh, the saving energy so uh, after 250 steps the checkpoint will be saved and then uh, some other step here and then if you see uh, for data set uh, you, you have to give a path to the particular data set for example uh, here's a data set or this data set okay this is a little big one okay just leave it i told you the data set how it will be okay then uh, the captioning uh, extension the caption we are using in txt file or uh, txt format so here if you see uh, it should be uh, here there are some instructions uh, for uh, uh, regarding the images and the uh, the captions as I told you before that the name should be same and the only only accepted formats for images is JPG and uh, JPEG uh, currently these two uh, formats are acceptable and then after that uh, here are some other the resolutions which are accepted uh, so flex have multiple uh, accepts multiple resolution like to, uh, which can be in uh, in 512 or 768 or 1024 so after that uh, the training steps uh, you have to define as training steps uh, you can make multiple batches and also the training steps so the training step I uh, I, set, I set it to 4000 you can uh, set it uh, in 5000 and 4000 in between so it's a good a good number then after that uh, here, here are some other parameters and then of uh, like the type is it's uh, bs16 and then uh, we are using the model uh, flex1 dev uh, for this from this uh, particular uh, from their uh, from hugging face and then uh, here the uh, here are okay the uh, um, the weight and height of the images uh, for the sample like this when the sample will generated so it will uh, the samples so after every 250 steps uh, i mean uh, for a while training it will it will it will uh, be in steps like this 4000 we, we define 4000 steps so after every 250 steps the uh, samples will be generated so these are samples uh, we define some samples like here we define three samples so these three samples uh, will be generated after every each 250 uh, steps so so here we can then uh, uh, then notice notice the or uh, or uh, monitor the progress of the model fine tuning how it how it's working or which checkpoint is better uh, okay so the see this 42 uh, and then uh, uh, like some other parameters okay well, there's one more thing like the uh, we we can we can uh, define a trigger word uh, so like uh, in, in our captions uh, but basically uh, in our case uh, we can use it or we, uh, we cannot if you don't want to use it we can we can skip it but you you need to have some uh, specific keyword in your uh, every prompt like here uh, for my in my case I use my name so my name is a keyword in my uh, uh, in my prompts so I'm not using this keyword thing here I'm just directly using keyword for for this keyword like this trigger thing you do need to uh, enable some uh, you need to enable this uh, trigger keyword here like this you have to define a uh, name like in my case I'm defining Noman uh, and then you you need to uh, you need to add this keyword uh, 
uh, here instead of your name so it will be replaced with the, this keyword uh, everywhere in this uh, while training but you should uh, add this in every uh, text prompt in every txt file you should uh, you should give this uh, tag then but in my case i just directly put all the keywords here and then uh, 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 here i just uh, so I am not using any uh, trigger keyword uh, tag here, but I directly using my keywords. Okay, so after that, uh, the configuration is done. So now you have to just uh, uh, run it. Like uh, I will be running it like uh, like Python. Python run dot py. So where is the run dot py? And our pi, pi is somewhere here okay this I, i'm using this uh, this for just for uh, to showing you how it will work uh, but after this you have to uh, you have to uh, also path give path to this uh, particular uh, yaml file like and then control d so it will uh, so the uh, after entering so the uh, fine tuning will start okay uh, here might be uh, this step might be here somewhere as well uh, like see uh, I was work, uh, talking about this thing like python run that py and the a uh, particular yaml file which we configured okay uh, so part to that that part file so after this when you are uh, uh, when you are uh, training it after that the training will be start uh, like this so it will uh, first it will uh, uh, save the latent for this uh, for your data set and then uh, after that the uh, ch uh, the, ch uh, the training steps will start like uh, here if you see it start from zero uh, and then it will it, it will continue to like in this case it's 2000 steps total so it will complete uh, total 2000 steps okay so after this uh, when this uh, fine tuning is done uh, you will see uh, in the meanwhile you will see uh, like a folder like with the, with the same name here if you use and then uh, here you will see the samples the samples generated while training uh, and this, these samples and then the you will see the checkpoints after each uh, uh, after each 250 steps okay so and the final final uh, final one will don't have any any of these steps it will be like this okay so in the optimizer.pt file so after that after doing that okay so now you can uh, you can use this checkpoint uh, in your code uh, so okay after fine tuning you can use this uh, checkpoint uh, or the awaits uh, you can say the awaits of for inferencing or uh, generating the response so here is a uh, demo code if you see uh, we are using uh, we are importing the diffusion uh, for uh, the flex pipeline from diffusion diffusers and then uh, here's the for uh, we are selecting the device and then we are loading the flex uh, the model which we fine tune like the flex the original model and then uh, uh, we are using uh, we'll be using this both uh, both gpus so here uh, for inferencing so here is a distributed pipe pipeline and then uh, we are assigning to like uh, device to the uh, pipeline and then uh, we are loading the our uh, weights like the, uh, the weights or the uh, the, our fine tune model we can say uh, here if you see and then after that uh, we can uh, uh, we have to enable the uh, 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 the CPU offload as well and then after that uh, here here is uh, here's my logic you can use your own so the prompts you can define uh, multiple uh, list of prompts here and then uh, for each prompt it will generate the images and then it will be saved in a, a particular directory so uh, let me show you some uh, outputs uh, from it uh, so here if you see i generated all these images uh, from uh, the uh, 
uh, from that fine tune model fine tune model uh, i will show you some samples so this is a generated image uh, from uh, from that from that model uh, here you can see the finishing uh, so uh, there is no uh, uh, no difference okay and then uh, i can show you this one uh, this is also generated one these all are generated uh, like i will show you this one so it's also a generated and uh, i can show you some others like uh, this one and uh, i can show you some more uh, these uh, for example this one is some okay or uh, might be uh, mm, for example this one so these are all generated okay uh, so i use just 30, 35 images in my case so you can use uh, many images and you can use it or, or find it on your on the so it might be helpful for someone okay thank you so much